Hello and welcome to the broadcast by Serbian Language Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to teach you the best Serbian study tip ever. Let's go. Hi guys, Cam here with Serbian Language Podcast and welcome to the broadcast. And in this particular episode, I'm going to teach you the best Serbian study tip ever. So let's just get right down to it. What is it? What is the best Serbian study tip ever? Is it learn a thousand words? Is it study two hours a day? What is this, this special tip? Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Here we go. The number one best study tip ever is less is more. Now I'm going to unpack that and what I just said because it's very comprehensive what I just said. Less is more is three words, but there's so much that goes into that. By the way, if you're enjoying the content here on this channel, please subscribe, give us a like, and let us know what you think in the comments. We would love to hear from you. So when we say less is more, here is what I mean by that. Higher understanding and internalization of content, this is where it's at. The thing is, the Serbian language is very different um, from lots of languages. Some languages you can learn via osmosis. You can just show up in a place or read some books or watch a movie, and the language will kind of just begin to make sense to you because you'll be able to see, oh, I see the patterns. The patterns are super recognizable. Uh, they can be somewhat intuitive. I would say English kind of falls into this category. It's everywhere, it's on the internet, it's Hollywood, it's music, it's all these things. And so a lot of people can actually acquire English language proficiency um, through osmosis by watching the films and listening to music and reading the lyrics and seeing the patterns. Uh, the grammatical structure is not quite as comprehensive as a language like Serbian where it's significantly more technical. Not hard, I did not say it was hard, it's just more technical and it requires the application of skill sets that makes my point, the best study tip ever, super valid. Less is more. Get hyper-focused on doing less things well. That is superior to doing more things in a mediocre fashion. It is significantly better to understand 10, 20, 30 Serbian words and be able to decline them all across the seven cases, that is superior to being able to uh, memorize 200 words in isolation. Less is more. If you can read two sentences in the Serbian language, let's say if you can comprehend two sentences and you read them and you can understand what the sentences mean and what they consist of, if you can look at the sentence and say, oh, I see what happened here. This is a present tense sentence. This first verb is conjugated in a third person singular. From there, the word da plus the next verb is connecting it again to third person singular and then here comes the declension in fourth case because fourth case answers the question what and so you've internalized all of this by just reading one sentence that is superior to reading 15 20 sentences and not even knowing what you just finished reading and that is such a critical point to think about when you're learning the language put your focus on less and that's going to position you to be, be able to acquire more. This is the key. I think about this analogy a lot because I think about business and education and language learning and, and life in general, and this analogy comes to mind. In the business world, there's this thing called ownership. And when it comes to ownership in business, there's the saying that owning 10% of a watermelon is superior to owning 100% of a grape. Now. That's true if we're talking about a business, right? You would want to have 10% of a billion dollar business over 100% of a $100,000 business. You'd have much more money. Well, with language learning, that's not the case at all. In language learning, it is the opposite. It is better to be the proud owner of 100% of the grape than it is to be the proud owner of 10% of that watermelon. Why? Because as you get fluent in the systems and structures, structures and patterns of the language, you're going to be able to create more grapes. You can plant the grape seeds. Now you got grape trees, and before you know it, you're in the grape business. You have a lot more than what you started with. This is the point. I want to just emphasize to you that what you want to do is go super deep into less and don't go so wide. People get in a big hurry, they want to be fluent, they want to be proficient, and their goals start to distract them from the effective strategy that's going to help them accomplish their goal. It happens all the time. Language learning is strategic. It's strategic. 
It's just like running a marathon. You don't want to sprint the first three miles. What's going to happen? You will gas out, pass out, and not complete the marathon. You don't want to do that. You want to pace yourself. And you want to understand the flow and the nature of what it means to run at that long of a distance. And so with language learning, it functions in much the same way. You got to pace yourself and you can do so by putting the focus on less. I can't overstate that enough. And again, Serbian Language Podcast has all that you need. I highly encourage you to go to the website, check out the content, and I'm telling you, if you have the goal of learning the Serbian language, you're in the right place, and you want to continue to stay here and build up your capacity. And the way that the website is laid out, the way the program is structured, it has this very concept in mind. It was made with this concept in mind. It was made for people who are not native Serbian speakers. In short, it was made for me and you. And one of the things that I've said in previous episodes that I'm going to say again here is getting proficient in the present tense is your gateway to all things related to Serbian proficiency. Once you get solid and proficient at speaking in present tense, you're going to rinse and repeat a lot of the structures of present tense across the tenses. It is an absolutely marvelous and wonderful thing, and Serbian Language Podcast builds its system of instruction around this principle so that you can develop the proficiency that you need in the present tense and then take that with you into future tense one, future tense two, into the conditional mood, or then into uh, past tense. So I want to just uh, remind you guys the fact that less is more. If you're sitting there with a Rolodex of vocabulary cards, or you're on some application right now memorizing 300 words, just know that that's not going to get you to your goal of speaking Serbian because Serbian is not about memorizing words. Serbian is about understanding connections and patterns and the system of how to form phrases that you can make yourself instead of having to memorize phrases that you get from a travel study guide. You can actually learn this language and the system and become a creative, fluent, proficient speaker. And you can do it all from the comfort of home with this particular program. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up and a like. And let us know what you think in the comments. What are you working on? Are you applying this strategy? Do you also agree that less is more? What has your experience been like? We'd love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much again for tuning in to the broadcast. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode. So long.